Guys, in Windows, the bottom bar right here is called the taskbar. It houses a lot of functions and you can customize it according to your liking. So let's get into it and I will tell you all the taskbar settings that you can customize. So the first thing you want to do is open settings. As always, you can just search for settings right here or you can just go to start and if you have it pinned like me right here, you can open it from there or you can just type in into the search box. So click on settings. Now we've come into the home screen of settings. So we can see a lot of options on the right as well as the left. So don't get overwhelmed. Don't get confused. I am here to talk you through it. So here you have home because we are on the home screen. So it says home. You have system settings, Bluetooth devices. Personalization is what we want to go to right here. So click on personalization. You can see whatever settings we have right now are shown right here in this small uh, screen like box. To change taskbar settings, just scroll down and under start you have taskbar settings almost at the bottom right here so click on that and we have the first thing you have here is taskbar item so you can see the search button i have here is search icon and label so what you can do is hide it completely so it disappears completely off the taskbar you can have it search icon only so you can just click on it and search for whatever you like you have search icon and label like I had before and then you have the ultimate thing that is the search box so it's an entire box right here and you can just again start typing on it so whatever settings you like from it it's very customizable you have it right here let's just hide it for now then you have copilot in windows so if we turn that on you can say you have copilot on this screen so it is a preview that's why it says pre on it if we click on it if you are opening it for the first time, you can see it will say just a moment, it will load. So as you can see, Copilot is your everyday AI companion. So you can just say open taskbar or you can have it run commands for you. So uh, it is AI powered, so it will, I'm guessing it will do a lot of things for you. You can see, uh, you can create images from it. So they have given it some examples. So you can see coach me through an upcoming job interview, mock questions. So it is very useful in that way. So for me, I don't want it on my taskbar, so I've turned it off. Again, you have task view. So let's turn that on. And you can see uh, an icon has popped up right here. So what happens if I click on that? You can see that the task view has come up. So whatever desktops I have running right now, I can create a new desktop right here. And on that desktop, how many ever apps are open right now, it will show me right here. So if I, if I hover my cursor on it, it will show me desktop on desktop too. And I can just create a new desktop right there. So very convenient for anyone who uses multiple desktops. So then we have widgets. So let's click on widgets. If we hover onto widgets, it will just pop open. Again, there's a setting to uh, configure it. You can just have it open when you click on it and not hover on it. Whatever your preference is, it will do it. So by default, you can see that temperature has come up. Currently, it is in Fahrenheit. I like it in Celsius, but it's okay for now. But you can see all the news, whatever you're following right here, you can watch and you can play. So everything that you want at a glance is available in the widgets. Okay. So let's just turn these things off right now. I like a cleaner look on my laptop. So it's very useful. Then we have system tray icon. So what is system tray? System tray is on the right side. You can see that there's a small arrow. These icons are in the system tray. So this is called a system tray. So currently I have multiple apps running on it. So that is why it is quite filled up but you can just hide icons whatever icons you don't want you can just move them to the system tray and they will stay out of you so if you want you can have a pen menu that pops up every time you use a pen on your laptop you can also have a touch keyboard so i can just configure that to come up never always or when no keyboard is attached it will come up so my laptop doesn't really have a 360 mode or a tablet mode so it's never actually going to come up and then we also have an option to turn on virtual touchpad so you can see an icon has popped up right here so if i click on that nothing going to happen because i have a physical touchpad so let's just turn it off but for you it may come up so let's just go to other system tray options so in here it is the hidden icon menu so 
so whatever icons you want or you don't want you can just hide them from here so currently we have uh, obs studio slack task manager you can hide each and every one individually according to your liking and then you have task behavior so let's just say you have automatically hide the taskbar so if you don't want it always in view you can just hide it it will just disappear from time to time as you can see so even if i hover my mouse at the bottom of the screen it will come up otherwise it will disappear but i like it on the bottom always so i'll just leave it on that show badges on taskbar app so you can see there's a badge right here on obs uh, if you have any notifications say on slack or you're running whatsapp it will show you a badge with a number uh, saying that you have a message then you have show flashing on taskbar apps so if you are to open up something that's or something that has opened up in background to get your attention it will just flash in a orange color so then you have share any window from taskbar let the far corner of the taskbar show the desktop so this is actually very useful so the right bottom of the of the screen is your basically show desktop icon you can see there's a small line over here if i just click in that area everything will minimize so that is very neat very useful so let's just go back and then you have show seconds in system tray clock so you can just have settings on the uh, clock so right now you can see there are seconds being shown in the taskbar and then you have combined taskbar buttons and hide labels so so if i just put it on never it will take a lot of space whenever i open an icon so i prefer when taskbar is full or always actually so i like it neat over here as i said before so i'll have it off for now if you right click on your taskbar you also have an option to open task manager and taskbar settings so whatever settings we are using right now you can just have a shortcut way of going there so if i click on that you can see we've come back to the taskbar settings so guys those are all the taskbar settings on windows 11 if you like the video if you found it helpful drop a like share and subscribe